Over the years, there were many who looked up to Captain America and wanted to emulate his persona, but there were also some who wanted to take his title as the symbol of freedom. In turn, there have been multiple times where the title of Captain America has been passed on to one of these lucky or not so lucky individuals. Just about everyone has seen that at the end of Avengers Endgame, Steve Rogers passes his shield onto Sam Wilson, the Falcon, to take his place after returning the Infinity Stones and living out his dream life that was taken from him with Agent Peggy Carter. Similarly, in Marvel Comics, Falcon was entrusted with the title of Captain America along with the iconic shield after Steve Rogers was deprived of his super soldier serum, which caused him to age and to become an old man. Rogers had lost his abilities after an encounter with a villain named Ran Shen. Ran had been transformed into a dragon form with tentacles that could neutralize Super Soldier Serum. He used his new abilities to take down Cap. Because of Steve's old age, someone now was needed to take over that title. The Avengers gathered at the Avengers Mansion a week after Steve's incident to hear who he would have follow in his footsteps. He felt that Sam was the best candidate because he was always putting others before himself. Upon being given the shield, Sam raised the shield and said in the typical Captain America chant, Avengers Assemble. To Sam's surprise, as time went on, being Captain America wasn't exactly what he was expecting. He thought that he would be fighting villains with his trusty team of Avengers and having a parade or a celebration here or there, but those excited feelings he had soon began to fade over time. With tensions rising over politics, he was witnessing the country he loved and was fighting for begin to fall apart. Not only was the country going against his beliefs, but S.H.I.E.L.D. was even becoming as dark as Hydra. The commotion going on began to give Sam time to reflect on what it meant to be Captain America. To try to bring the country back together and unite the people, he called for a press conference. Unfortunately, it backfired on himself as in the press conference he stated that he was no longer working for S.H.I.E.L.D. or the government, but rather was there for the people that needed him. He received a ton of backlash and was called Captain Anti-America, along with other negative nicknames. In an attempt to stop Sam Wilson from creating any more chaos, the government decided to use John Walker to take him down and to retrieve Captain America's shield. John Walker was a man who had a great deal of patriotism after his brother had served in the Vietnam War, laying down his life for his country. John then went into the military to follow the footsteps of his brother, however he did not feel that he was cut out to be a hero like his brother had been. In search of a way to become a hero, he went to the Power Broker to get augmented strength. The Power Broker is Dr. Carl Malice, a scientist who would perform experiments on individuals by using advanced technology to give them this augmented strength. A risky procedure like this came at a hefty price, but one that John was more than willing to pay. John Walker became known as US Agent or Super Patriot after his procedure. He felt that now he was prepared to embody America's core beliefs and values. This all happened prior to Sam taking on Cap's mantle. It was also all part of another time that Cap had stepped down, this time because he felt that he wouldn't work with the US government because their viewpoints did not go hand in hand with his own. The government was enraged after all that they had done for Steve and how he had now resigned from his duties. They began counseling about who they could use to replace Cap. Some names that came up in their discussion were Nomad, The Falcon, and Nick Fury, but they just didn't seem fit for their agenda. They eventually came to the consensus that John Walker was their new guy and was fit for the job. Walker found himself trying to emulate Steve Rogers' ethic, but when he was put to the test was more brutal in his decisions. With his enhanced strength along with his lack of emotional control, he inadvertently beat a professor to death as well as severely injuring a mutant group known as the Resistance. After a run-in with Red Skull, John felt that he should return the uniform of Captain America to Steve. At a press conference announcing the return of the real Captain America, General Hayworth also had special plans to hide John and to give him a new identity by faking Walker's death. While undercover, John was on a special ops mission in the Middle East to take down terrorists. He led the charge and busted into an enemy building, and with the help of his own shield to deflect their bullets, he almost single-handedly took down all of the terrorists. After Walker came back to the States, he had a meeting with Paul Keene, the owner of Keene Industries, and Senator Tom Harold, both Texas natives. The two were not happy with Sam Wilson taking over the role of Captain America and defiling everything that the US stood for. Millions of Americans were also unhappy of how Sam was handling things, and the people demanded that he stand down because Steve Rogers was back. The government tasked a US agent with the retrieval of the shield from Sam. He politely declined as he didn't feel that it was his place to ask for it back. As he was explaining himself, they were notified that Sam Wilson was again beginning a public conflict, and US agent was reluctantly sent to defuse the situation. 
Shortly after, Sam was flying away from the scene when he was struck down from a flying shield thrown by the US agent. He informed him that he was sent by the government because of his recent actions of attacking civilians, the government, and even S.H.I.E.L.D. Sam didn't like the accusations that were being thrown at him and responded about mistakes that John had made in the past. Despite his flaws, however, John knew that Steve Rogers should be the one true Captain America. The two began to duke it out for Cap's S.H.I.E.L.D. Quickly, Sam came to the realization that he was no match for the strength of US Patriot, and that he did not possess any super soldier serum to even begin to compete with him. Knowing that he could not beat him straight up, Sam hooked John's arm and began to fly away with him attached to the cable, taking him into a dark tunnel near Central Park. To his advantage, Falcon's powers allowed him to see what the owls in the tunnel could see, giving Falcon the advantage and ultimately leaving John there bloodied and defeated. After their battle, Sam got in front of a camera and cleared the air about the events that had gone down as of recent with him and US Agent. He pledged to continue to watch over the people and to ensure their safety. There were times where he felt that he should hang up his uniform and be done with it all, but ultimately he stuck with it and did his best in his remaining time as Captain America. Thanks so much for watching this video. We really appreciate the support on our videos here at Hero History. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or a comment on the video, and subscribe for more like it. Thanks again, and as always, have a marvelous day.